Hey guys and gals and welcome back to my playthrough of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Now, last we left off, uh, what the hell did I do? Well, I defeated a uh, Chaos Space Marine, a word bearer to be precise. I believe I also, I've also uh, fought a Screamer, a uh, Screamer of Zinch. And uh, what else? Not much really. So you know what, in today's episode, I'm gonna go into here. Ugh, this is not a good sign. And, pos and possibly see what the hell is going on here. And if possible, I wanna go here and see what's uh, lying in this region. So uh, without further ado, let's Victory go. Victory awaits! Okay. Pay attention. All right, all right. I better myself through my service. Duty prevails. Oh, this looks like a boss fight area. Yep. This looks like a boss fight area. Uh, let's see. Final time check. Uh, stems the. Who can use Medicaid? You. You know what? Let's replace your little Medicaid with this. Just in case. Just in case. You. Uh. Yeah. No. Let's give you a frag grenade. Alrighty. Mm, gun wise. Do I not have any other plasma guns? Yeah, let's just say Argentus Bolter is not really great anymore. Especially in terms of damage. Hmm. Yeah, this is even stronger. No way. Yeah, you really don't have anything else, huh? Damn it. You have Melter. Plasma. Plasma. You got Plasma. Plasma. Bolter. Wait, what? Nullify shotgun. Nullifying shotgun. What does this do? Penetration 30, rate of fire 1, range 4, max ammo. Let's give you this. Just try it, just try it out. Okay, without further ado, let's go. So the Fabricator General's here. Gotcha. Let's see what's over here in the void first. What the hell's this door? Okay. Flamer Digi Weapon. Oh, yes. Marv Combat Weapon in a form of a ring allows to fire a stream of flame in short range. Reloading a DG weapon is an extremely complicated task and can only be performed on the ship. Okay. I won't tolerate weakness. Uh, thank you. This exploratory is right set. with multi-functionality. Uh, this one? Multi-key. That's it. Yeah, now all that's left is to deal with the fabricator sensor. Oh, X fabricator sensor, as my good friend Pascal has uh, noted. Okay. Uh, before that, is there a way for me to equip said DG weapon, or is it all just a bunch of baloney? Let's do this. Okay, save up. 
And let's go. Oh boy. Fabric here says there Cubis definitely def him. Upon noticing you, Cupid's definite strength straightens. You're, you hear the clanging of and groaning of metal as if the pistons and bearings in the fabricated sensor's augment body have fused together. Repelling scrapes of and screeches punctuate his speech. You, the probability of, nav of navigating your way of reaching the inner line was negligible. The primordial truth guard guards me and my work. Then why is it that this variable has yet to be eliminated. I shall venture a guess is because I'm the illustrious rogue trader from Valencia, and you are taking a hockey piece of refuse. Uh, sure, let's gloat. An impossibility. I am not a variable that can be extracted from the process without acutely affecting the probability of its success of its successful realization the fabricator sensor freezes possibly a stress test unexpected uh, let's ask him this steel creations destined to serve the designs of truth do you see the elegance in their form their flawless ergonomics and those are merely are mere shells. The true perfection fills them when they are instilled with the spark of life and granted purpose. To bring their wrath upon the heads of apostates, once this army is assembled, but why waste words? You will see further your a, for yourself a modicum of its splendor that is in store for the Coronas expanse. Hey Doko, you sick of listening to the ramblings of this rusty cog yet? It's like he's stalling for, huh? The herbic carrier senses sense it. Dragon straightens his back and sh shoulders. You hear a mounting hum as if it's from some powerful turbines, followed by a heavy footstep and a grinding of metal against metal. Oh no. Not another one. Uh, those are your dudes. If I break your sensor lets out a binary thrill, witness the weapon designed to carry and to carry the glory of the true god into the darkness of the Corona's expanse. My shepherd has sent me one of his iron angels so that its very presence may still may instill faith and awe in the hearts of his flock. Accept the greatness of the primordial truth, but united with the might of the new Kyavagama, and perish. For the Imperium! For the God Emperor! Accept this new sacrifice, O oh, sacred truth. I want to eat your cries, of mercy. Ah, the very least he dealt with two heads, so that's good. Asya, Rex, and uh, Jay. Okay, first of all, oh, I have to deal with you two at the same time. Ah, oh, crap. Do this. Three of it. Here. What are you weak to? Nothing. Movement. Force of the warp. No. Let's... Let's do this. Can I kill somebody? No. Damn it. Okay, Henrix. Uh... I'll come with your will. Will power check me out. You got an Omnicine X and a Meltdown. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, Damn it! No! Oh, he's immune to knockdown. Of course. Let's do this. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay, 
First of all, me? Never thousand seconds. I'm over here. Oh, you do that with the right to set you. Oh, crap. I got the armor. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. So my first priority is gonna be the fourth fiends. So I'll give it to you. Come over here. Does the shotgun actually does anything? Not bad. Or do I want the uh, path of the slope? Or the eight? Nah, shotgun it is. Okay. Uh, run back to safety. Uh, just stay over here. I'm gonna do this. Okay. okay. Hopefully this is enough. Alright, Cassia. Is it me or is Cassia in the... Uh... Okay, uh... Isn't this a job for the sucks? Alright. Oh, him. Okay. Crap, you. Oh, crap. Leave. Yeah, somehow in the hand. hand the copy says this thing really sucks. But I don't know why. Listen, man. Huh. Oh. I'm afraid not. If only that were possible. Why? Do not dare ask. Oh crap. Let's try. Let's protect those who succeeded. Crap. Let's see you. Okay. Uh, crap grenade might be a smart idea. What games? Okay. Uh, do this. How much? Sixteen. Oh crap. Yes, I shot. Nice. Nope. Oh crap, I just messed up big time tonight. What? No, seriously, seriously. What the hell? Yeah, just going after one will be a smart idea. Okay. I'm over here. Very stupid. Oh, whatever. Wait, doesn't it damage him? Seven. Uh. Okay. Oh, crap. What the? Oh. Okay, good. Okay, first of all, let's focus on one first. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait. Okay, what? You always hit the end of the fight. Armor. Okay, uh. Crap. Okay, let's focus on one first. You have no armor now. Good. What? Oh, is it because they're stunned? Ow. Crap. Crap. I'm over here. Oh, really? Why did his damage just drop off real ridiculously fast? Whatever. 
No, crap. You got a problem? I got a problem. Let it fight there. Okay, good. That's one less demon I need to worry about. Air of 30. Am I getting paid for this? Okay. 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 Reduce the numbers. Uh, no. This. Okay. Get two, eh? Come over here. Gotta be kidding me. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Successful. 
Okay, my last one. Thank you. Ooh. Man, that was harsh. Ooh, what the hell? Assault last guns, a bunch of carapace, chest plates. Shifting combi tool. Only found in the hands of the Adeptus Mechanics cult members, combi tools are versatile if somewhat bizarre mechanical devices. Ooh. This is gonna be nice. And. See different pattern on the cyan axe. Okay. And it's an it's an axe. So uh, wait a second. Let me get the stuff. Wait a minute. It's about time. Is this all? Well, I'll be damned. Okay. Um, None shall stand in my way. Okay, let's go back to the void ship. What happened? Your word bearer. What? Sharp pain pierces your head, and light dims in your eyes. You smell smoke and burning. And burning, you feel a wave of nausea. Your legs buckle, and your knees hit the me the metal floor. In that somewhat moment, in that same moment, the manufacturer surrounding you disappears behind a whirl whirlwind of mist, ash, and gray shadows. Struggling against the elements, you you can barely raise your head to look at ahead of you. Your eyes stings and burn, but through the tears, you see it—a colossal silhouette rising above you. The roaring tempest is unable to shake the mighty figure. Everything in pain, you raise your head and peer into the wild wall darkness. You make out the figure's feature is a huge man clad in dark power armor, from which demonic silhouettes sneer at you. The winds picked up and you close your eyes, unable to stare at the face of this raging raving tempest. The warrior in humane's eyes bore into you. I am the master of these who, who have been felled by your hand in the halls of the primordial truth. I am the dark Dark Apostate. Uralon the Cruel, Uralon the Cruel, the soul of my followers returned to the font, to the fount of power they serve, crying out that I cast my gaze towards the sacrilege, and what do I see? Yet another lackey of the corp corpse emperor. The giant's voice causes the storm raging around you to die down somewhat, as if the very sound of his voice is enough to make the whirlwind subtle subside. You glance at the huge warrior and notices that his chest is just a whirling azure symbol. The shade of blue seems to glimmer and intermix. So he's a word bearer, but aligned with Zinch? Uh, I'm the mistress of Kiagwagama. This is my world, not the domain of chaos. Oh, clinging to illusions. Will do you no good. The rituals has already been performed. The mortals already sing litanies of the primordial truth or decorate the sacrificial altars with their flesh. Kiavagama, as you call it, is already saturated in the nectar of the truth. A fate that awaits all worlds that would stand in our way. What do you want with me? I want to look upon the one who has disrupted my flock's duties and my master's plans. That warrior from my legion, the fabricator sensor, you think of their death as a triumph. However, it is but a minor hindrance on our path. There are other worlds that serve our goals. There are other sources of plasteel and adamantium. Revel in your victory, it will change nothing. Nevertheless, the blood in your veins whisper to the spirits that you warrant, warrant a slightly greater deal of attention. Hmm. Yes, you are a descendant of the rogue traders whose warrant Kunrat Wardigil was supposed to deliver to me. That worm failed at his task because of you. He lost my favor. Would it be that you wish to gain it instead? Do you wish to present your false god relic to me and serve the truth? Your very blood your very blood calls for you to serve the one whom your kind in its minus call the arch enemy. What would be the point of such futile defiance?
Uh, you waste my your time trying to tempt me. It is not the blood that defines one's deeds. Only their will does, and my will is thus. Be gone from my mind. His expression twists in pain as he, as he peers into your you in rage and bafflement. Pitiful insect. You dare. Okay. A gust of wind sweeps Ur Uralon tri Uralon's figure away without a trace. The mist around you begins to dissipate, revealing the dark halls of the manufactorium and leaving behind the oppressive sense of powerlessness. I sense the presence of another psyker. Someone, someone made contact with you mentally, then, then tried to harm you with sorcery. I did what I could. At least you look un unharmed. Can you remember what you saw? Uh, it was a Chaos Space Marine. One of the traitors of the Imperium. To the Imperium? I don't think it was he who grasped your mind. I wouldn't have had the strength to go up against a Psyker from the ranks of those monsters. He might have forced some mortal to do his bidding. Perhaps it was through the same hapless medium that he sensed the death of his henchmen. Enrix looks away and frowns. Such indescribable power to have reached out to your mind at such a distant distance. Uh, he said something about Theodore, about how the blood of my veins will lead me to serving chaos. Sister Argenta, who has been watching all of this intensely, grows pale and makes the sign of the Aquila to ward off evil. Enrix looks at, at you closely, whatever, whether in surprise or anger, you unsure, then he gives a curt nod. I see. We can theorize later. Though I will say, Doggo, that his words do not leave much room for interpretation. The manufacturer around you looks the same as before the vision. Maybe the shadow has grown a little deeper and darker. You're, you dust yourself off and continue on your journey through the darkness. Okay. The world's industrial heart has fallen to corruption, but numerous faint vox signals from the t periphery indicate that the planet's small manufacturing clusters survive without succumbing to the heretics. Such sacred machines and hallowed lathe from these abodes have been reverently transported to the safety of the ship's holds. The fate of Kyavagama hangs in the ba balance. Store the manufacturing and the shortest but probably does subject the wounded planet to merciless purge. Yeah, let's do Imperialis. Okay. The servants of the Adeptus Ministorum heeded the call and began to assemble a holy crusade to purify Kyavagama. It will take much time and effort to root out every tendril of corruption lurking in the dark corners of the manufacturer. It is pop. Well, it is required, you know. I mean, either that or I'm exterminating Kyavagama. Okay, uh, let's see. Journeys. Ooh, okay. Absolution. The first round of combat, the Rogue Trader Party will set the target on fire in addition to all fire damage received by enemies increased by one for each conviction. Okay, what's this? For the first round of combat, every gains momentum points. Ah, okay. Okay, for... Blades of the Void, according to Eskaladar, Xenos Raid may stuck in the penal world... Okay, the penal world. Okay, Secrets of the Cult. Dude, throne room, palace. Ah, okay. However, by managing these worlds and prudence. Hmm. Do I have anything else? Oh, I got a bunch of plasteel orders. What's this? Ah, sure, why not? The rogue trader commands the Kyavaga may be cleansed in every trace of heresy, and the grueling task will entail pressing emergency for good weapons, spare parts, and brightly burning Prometheum. And no. Lord Inquisitor Kakazara's servants has been buying up top quality plasteel and transporting it to an unknown location. Will the nature of the Lord Inquisitor's secretive grand scale manufacturing operations remain unknown? And then the names of those who are assisting them are uttered with great respect. Okay. Nine, huh? 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, crap. I think I messed up. Yep, I messed up. Okay, Kiavagama, what do you got? Uh, restoration, bless it. Our weaponsmiths. Oh, yep, I just messed up. Accolator Holiness. Okay, wait a second. Manufactorum of Kiavagama has been damaged and tainted by the procedures of the heretic the, the Flim, a renowned tech architect, the future. The fugitive aristocrat Barabbas Kilius is offered ring to enter the rogue trader service as a planetary steward and restore the world to its former com to its former production capacity. Great trials are ahead, and we must steal ourselves in the face of them. The rogue trader will sign a mutual agreement with the quaestors of the Department of Minutorum, those outstanding the theoretic of warfare will supervise the repurposing of the planet's manufacturers for the production of weapons and military equipment in the jaws of lathe machines and the womb of the alloy vats. Solus Plasteel will take on its high highest and most perfect form, that of a weapon. For the generation of the company has been custodians, custodians of the machinery and cogitators of Kiabagama, recognizing the value of this tragedy-stricken world, we are willing to deploy a forged cathedral on its on it as a token of sympathy, therein the blessed fabricated sense of Forton will envision and lay out a new and more perfect design for the planet. Hmm. The hand of the Xenocide. Ooh. I get three weapons. Tears of weapons. What do I get? Titan Forge last weapons, eh? Explorators. Let's do this. Try centuries ago, the duties of the assembly and first ignition uh, were held on Kiavagama from majestic steel monstrosities, all crushing mountain tunnelers, mighty cargo haulers, and vo voracious mega harvesters. The virt this virtuous craft is long is lost now. The Mechanicus Artisans can revive it. Then, once again, the triumphant call for a Klaxon will shake the Cronus Expanse. An Inferno. Wait, I got an escort ship? Ooh. Who the hell are you? Mysterious explorer for ship. Okay. Florida servitors. Efficient all colonies. Hmm. Let's see. Is it done? Oh. Giants. You know. Full stone. Good tidings. Damn it, I forgot. Hmm. Bones of the Xenos. Nine Xenotech. No. Look, Captain, the engine seers of Kiavagama reported it in the enigmatic phenomenon. They call it Procedure XOX. It is a mysterious protocol of the highest priority, however, it is missing from the sacred catechism. The procedure occasionally interferes with the manufacturum performance in unpredictable ways, and we cannot discover the source of the signal that activates it. Sometimes it orders cargo delivery to remote storehouses where everything vanished without a trace. Sometimes it leads to a sudden shortage of cogitator computing hours. Sometimes it calls for Utilization of working units, servitors, and tech priests without obvious reasons. The servants of the Omnisaya identified the procedure as the holiest of code and carried out its instructions to the letter. What does my right to you think about this? 
Many servers on the side will, be, will vehemently oppose the execution ban on the procedure. Hmm. What's the purpose? It is unknown. The directives are chaotic and appear to be devoid of evident sequency. The holiest adaptive mechanics algorithm may be too complex for an uninitiated mind to grasp it in a systematic manner. Yeah, what about this? The servers on Omnisaya tested a planetary network sevenfold. They used purifying algorithms to verify complexity and found it free of corruption. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. And the small damage of the manufacturer has its negligible compared to the significance of performing the sacred rite. According to yet another directive, the enigmatic object was delivered to rogue traders resident on Kiavagama. Okay. is efficiency 4, eh? Footsteps, good tidings. I need plasteel. Uh, let's see. I believe I. Yep. This is good now. So. Let's chart. Nothing. Oh, yeah, the. Oh, Dragonis. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's whoop trouble to here. Uh, let's see. Oh, ship, 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 ship. What do I get? Titan Forge last weapon. Ooh. Wait, which one's this? Prow. Torpedo, Mazoa, 91 damage, 50 damage. Yep. This one all the way. Okay. Assault scanners. Mars. Mizzle, macro cannons. I just wish there's a way to compare stuff. Uh, 80% chance, hit chance, and 10% crit chance. Uh, let's keep that. Let's keep that. Okay. So we can control, uh, jumps. Improve RAM, Sanctified Restart, Silent Running, Steady Hand. Okay. I'm using ability to lower cooldown by one. Start from destroyed ships. Yep. Okay. Now, let's see what the hell is going on here. Nothing. Nothing. Really? Really? There's nothing here? Let's go to the ship. Xeno trophies. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. Sentinel's pride. Are you sure this is nothing? Whatever. I guess it. We got this. Burning world, burning world. Kimagama. Hmm. Let's go up here. No, no, no. We get unsafe. Now let's go. The recent attack on the scrap cook disabled many of the sacred machines whose malfunctioning algorithm shows no signs of failure until the vessel departed real space and surrendered itself to, to the sea of the souls. Only navigators talent and tireless vigil to detect we save the portion from movement. Hmm. Unknown ships, eh? Ooh, plasteel. Study, we can continue on words. How many plasteels do I have now? Three. This is the Forge World Euphrates 2. It belongs to the explorators of the Conscience fleet. They colonized it centuries ago. Unfortunately, we do not possess the privilege of landing here. Why? It declared off limits to the lit. to the late T. Due to the sacred rites of the Adeptus Mechanicus being performed on, at its surface. I'm afraid the restrictions apply even to you, your ladyship. Uh, let's not disrupt the tech priest. Let's go to the unknown ships. Let's see what's up. You're facing several Eldari scout ships. The Xenos are in no hurry to attack. Time seems to have slowed down. One wrong move and the carnage will ensue. Threaten you with savage proposal if they do not let you pass. Uh, full cargo acquired. Let's do this. The Lord Captain's formidable speech is great, greeted by silence from the box fit systems, but the enemy of humanity lets the rogue trader void ship through. Ah. You know what? No, no, no. Let me save the game first. What kind of secrets are they hiding? Rumors that the servers of Omnisaya are pouring over formula of ultimate destruction in the secluded tech crypts of this world, seeking to confine it to a rigid system of previously unseen weapon prim primers. Others are whispering the local denizens have dedicated their lives to the restoration of a ruined divine weapon from the dark age of technology, whose power and technological perfection are so holy that the mere look from a layman would be an affront to the Omnisaya. Before the Treaty of Mars gives them the right to restrict access to their domain. Should someone attempt to violate their sanct sanctuary, tech priests are authorized to open fire, and their firepower of their ground batteries is capable of destroying an entire squadron. Initiating confrontation is not advisable, so I can't do jack to them. Whatever. Wait a minute. 